This is just a quick video on the base project I'm using in this tutorial series. In all the tutorials I'll be using this base project which makes it a bit simpler to quickly test shaders and compare different versions of shaders. You can download the base project, there's a link in the description of the video. However, it's TMS2 only. But you don't need to use the base project. All the tutorials will work without. When running, the base project looks like this. We got six slots for test objects per room. Each has a short info above. Clicking on a module reveals additional information. On the right side we see the user interface. We can switch rooms up here and by pressing the room number on the keyboard. Pressing shift while pressing a number key will add 10 to the number. So shift plus 1 will be 11. Then we see three sliders. Those are controlling three global variables, setting them to a number from 0 to 1. We can also automate them going back and forth or cycling from 0 to 1. Then there is a Show Texture Page button. This will draw the texture pages of the sprites of the selected module. And beneath that an info box where we can add additional info on the shader and on what the sliders do. If you don't use the base project, there's one thing you regularly want to manually add to your project and that's some kind of timer going from 0 to 1 and back. So you can see what certain settings of a shader actually do to the image. If you use the base project, those timers can be accessed with the uh, global variables global slider 1, global slider 2 and global slider 3. Let's get a quick overview of the base project. Every resource used in the base project is sorted in groups called base project. There is a template room. For every topic I'll create a new child of that room and name it accordingly. In example the first few shaders I'll call simple shaders and the room is called room simple shaders. A controller object in the base project will add a title to each room by taking the room name, removing rm underline and replacing each remaining underline with a space and each xx with a vertical line. There are several objects in the base project, but only two types you might want to have a look at. One is the three sliders object. Those control the global timers I mentioned before. Global.slider1 to 3. In create event of those sliders, I might sometimes tweak some settings based on the room we're in. Things like the timer speed, for example. The other object you want to look at is the par module and actually also object module template. Whenever I create a new shader I'll duplicate the module template because it has some basic stuff in there I'll use in most shaders. The par module object is just the parent of that template. If you've got questions on the basic project don't hesitate to ask here in the comments. Until next time.